the debt to population ratio slightly decreased. So that supported our hypothesis. And as the social association, in, social association rate increased, the percent of population in poor or fair health decreased, which also supported our hypothesis. As the percent of people who drove to work alone increased, the average number of physically unhealthy days increased, which was the one point that did not support our hypothesis. All right, uh, thank you, Cindy. Now I'm gonna hand it off to another one of our members, Rashmika, who's gonna talk about the uh, bar graphs that we generated for our data set using uh, the, plot, the Plotly module. So Rashmika, if you wanna take it away. We use Plotly to create a bar graph that shows the number of deaths in each state. The name of the state is on the x-axis and the number of deaths is on the y-axis. Before making the bar graph, we dropped all the null values and grouped the counties together to find the total number of deaths per state. We also figured out how to change the background color of the bar graph. It helps us easily, easily visualize the data for the number of deaths in each state with color coding. We found that California has the highest number of deaths followed by Texas, Florida, and New York. We also found that North Dakota has the lowest number of deaths followed by Wyoming, Vermont, and Alaska. All right, uh, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about a function we wrote that would take in as input our data set, a column name, and an operation that could be performed on the column, such as sum, mean, uh, median, et cetera. Um, our function then grouped each row of our data set to turn a data set from county data to state to state data. It would aggregate all of the counties. So it'd go from like 3,000 different rows when which every row represented a different county to just 50, 50 states. And then our function then generated a bar graph for better visualization of the data. Uh, converting our data from a data frame to a bar chart helps us better visualize the data and come to conclusions about how the data is distributed. Putting this code inside a function keeps us from having to write out the code each time we want to generate a bar graph. Uh, we found that deaths were particularly high in California, Florida, New York, and Texas. Uh, we found that Connecticut and Delaware had a higher number of its citizens who are vaccinated. And we found that overcrowding was really high in California, New York, and Texas. And now I'm gonna hand it off one last time to Sid or to Cindy, who is going to go over our 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 whether our findings support our hypothesis and our conclusion. Our findings do support our hypothesis. We found a negative relationship between death rates and vaccination rates, suggesting that as more people become vaccinated, they have a less chance of dying. We also found that people obeyed the quarantine and stay-at-home orders. As people obeyed the quarantine and stay-at-home orders, they are less susceptible to these transmis transmission, which is suggested by the negative relationship between social association rate and the percent of people in fair or poor health. All right, and that's our project. Thank you all for listening.